Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Novels on the Run. Uh, this is my IMM number 20, my second vlog. Um, first one really sucked, so I'm having another go at it. Um, from Simon and Schuster this week, received Prize by Carrick O'Brien. Uh, it's birthmark number two, that's birthmark number one. It's a dystopian. Um, this one was really, really good. Um, I'm looking forward to reading this one. So thank you to Simon and Schuster. Another one from Simon and Schuster, um, Emerald by Karen Wallace. I actually don't know much about this one. I'll read the back out. Emerald St. John is in trouble. She has been condemned to marry a man she hates, which can't be good. Her enemies are conspiring to have her pet bear, as you do, torn apart in the baiting pit, and the man she loves is far away on the high seas. And now she has stumbled into a web of spies of a plot to poison Queen Elizabeth I. To save herself and the kingdom, Emerald must beat the spies at their own game, which means transforming herself from a country girl into a lady of the court. Can she do it in time? Well, I think she probably can. But, so I'm looking forward to that. Now I've finished Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey, La Lainey Taylor. Um, thank you to Hodder and Thornton, that one, for giving me this. Um, really, really, really good. I recommend it to everyone. Um, yeah, it's got everything I've got. Wishes, mystery, magic, love lost, um, yeah, everything. Um, Patrick Rufus on the back, who's the author of The Name of the Wind. It's the King Killer Chronicle. This is book number one. I haven't read it yet. It's a really big, thick one. Looking forward to it. Um, his third book, The Doors of Stone, is coming out. I assume next year, I didn't check. Um, and The Wise Man's Fear is already out. Um, so I'm going to do the uh, book one and two over Christmas because they're really big and the writing's quite small. So, and I've heard like, that this has got wonderful writing. And Patrick Rosas thought. Um, he wished he had written this book, so there you go. Now, Lethal and Poe by Lauren Oliver, who wrote Delirium and Before I Fall. I haven't read Before I Fall, but I've read Delirium, and Delirium is dystopian, and I really enjoyed that. A little cliffhanger at the end. Um, I'm looking forward to Pandemonium. Now, this one, I will, it's a middle grade book, but I want to show the sketches. And... The sketches all through the story. And there's Lisa and Puff. So it's a really, oh, yeah. I just love the sketches, so I started this, but I had to take the time to read it properly. I finished Stray. I really enjoyed this. It's 600 odd pages. Um, I'll do more of you today. And from the library, I got rogue yesterday, so I'm looking forward to carrying on with that. Hard bit enough. I was going to reserve this for a while for this, so I hope it's good. It's number four in the Chicago Land Vampire um, by Chloe Neal. So we're on the uh, Chloe Neal blog tour on the 30th of October. So for a drink deep to this book. Uh, I had my soul to take last week on my own and at the library has my soul to keep and my soul to steal. So Rachel Vincent, same as Ray, Rachel Vincent. So I'm really looking forward to reading these because I've heard they're really good. Now, as proof that we have two silence books for giveaway nice and thick. I've read Silent. I really did like it, but wait for my review on that one. Um, I'm a bit of a cover girl. And I was looking for the symbolisation of Patch holding Nora like that, but I wasn't missed it. I didn't see it in the book. Not that it matters, but sometimes I like, I like to see the pictures kind of match with something in the book. Uh, Susie, who does our bookmark, that's our merchandise. Um, she actually made this little metal one for me. And I love it, and it really fits very nicely. 
with this book. And she also made these. I'll take photographs of this, but this is a steampunk inspired jewelry and she gave these to me for my birthday last week. So that matches and that one. So she's very clever. Um what else was gonna say? Yeah. This is something a bit random for all you overseas people who haven't tried Vegemite. We have now got Vegemite chips. And they're actually not bad. Not that I'm trying them at all, Lisa Sanchez, because I'm doing P90X. But they are actually quite delicious. So trust us Australians to have a Vegemite chip. And, oh, here we go. Miss Caroline, who does guest reviews sometimes, for my birthday, she sent me this gorgeous little book charm because it's a vlog for my birthday, so thank you, Caroline. And I think that's it. Yep. So, what's in your IMM? And I look forward to having a look. Bye, yeah.